Tammy Slayton and Amy Slayton of 1000 Old Sisters are well known for their feuds as they often have butted heads while airing their life. Since 1000 Old Sisters season 4 is over, it is time to take a look back at Amy and Tammy Slayton's biggest feuds. Amy and Tammy's lives have unfolded on the hit TLC series, which centered around their combined 1,000 pound weight. Now that both have successfully gone under the knife, it could be the perfect time for the siblings to bond. The two Kentucky sisters are as thick as thieves, but they had their fair share of heated words and brawls over the years. While Tammy has been known to throw a tantrum or two, Amy is always quick with a witty comeback. The 1,000 Old Sisters stars have been known to get in one another's faces when they disagree on something. Tammy's extreme outbursts have often left her isolated as she pushed her family and supporters farther and farther away. The sisters' one-liners have gone down in TV history and made for some entertaining moments. During an earlier season of 1,000 Old Sisters, Amy tried her best to treat her sister Tammy to a spa day. However, the stairs leading to the pedicure chair put Tammy off as she refused to push herself. Tammy started to have a meltdown as her sister stood in her way, forcing her to exert a bit more energy. Tammy became hostile over the minor inconvenience, with Amy telling TLC cameras it's hard to help someone who always yells at you. While Amy tried her best to keep calm in the establishment, the two sisters exchanged a few heated insults during their spa day. Eventually, while filming their confessional, Tammy seemed to calm down as she shared that Amy had caveman feet and needed to use more body lotion. Amy eventually broke the tension after Tammy told her to put socks on, noting her feet were constipated instead of using the correct word, claustrophobic. There's been more than one occasion where Amy and Tammy have come up against one another over their restrictive diets. Amy first qualified for her gastric bypass surgery during 1000 Old Sisters Season 1. She learned the ropes early and listened to her doctor's orders about a stricter, healthier diet. Tammy found it extremely hard to abide by the no sweets or fried food rule, and the two often battled. After a road trip to Atlanta without any fast food stops, Amy decided to clean her pantry out, ensuring she got rid of all the junk food. During the cleanout, Tammy smuggled a cupcake into her bra, with Amy calling her out on camera for the shady move. Amy's last item left was some soda, which she claimed to be her then-husband Michael Halterman's. However, Tammy busted her sister, revealing she didn't drink anything else, but Amy called her out for lying. In a heartfelt confessional, Tammy explained she was bothered by her sister's choice to keep the soft drink in the fridge because since she lived in the same house, and it would also be a temptation for her. In the end, the soda stayed in the fridge. In one of the more extreme fights between the 1000 Old Sisters stars, Tammy was in the midst of a total breakdown about how large she had gotten and was triggered by Amy expressing that her sister needed to do more around the family home to chip in. The two Kentucky natives went back and forth, telling one another they needed to grow up. The fight reached a climax when Tammy called her sister a baby leading Amy to yell, my bills are paid. As Tammy couldn't get up quickly and exit the room due to her large size, she decided to let out her frustrations by growling at her sister. All Amy was trying to do was make Tammy realize that just because she was overweight, it was no excuse not to earn some money or perform chores around the house. The sisters eventually calmed down, but the explosive argument was one for the record books. At one point, Tammy refused to leave the family van in a 1000 Old Sisters episode. Due to her fear of walking up the stairs or ramps, Tammy reacted in such a hostile manner that her siblings were left dumbfounded. Amy couldn't bite her tongue, as she pointed out that Tammy was being difficult and unreasonable, telling her family Queen Tammy had gotten meaner over the years. In a last-ditch effort to stay in the van, Tammy started yelling at Amy to leave her alone claiming she could do whatever she wanted. In a moment of desperation, Amy shared her frustrations during her 1000 Old Sisters confessional, noting that Tammy wanted to sleep in the car. Amy couldn't bite her tongue, as she revealed she believed her sister's choice to sleep in the car was dumb, especially when there were so many beds inside the cabin. However, 
Instead of trying to convince Tammy otherwise, Amy eventually gave up and called it a night. Over the years, both Tammy and Amy have tried to attend therapy sessions together so they could air out their grievances in a productive manner. In one meeting, Tammy shared how she doesn't like it when her sister brings her the wrong food, with Amy retaliating by saying her sister isn't an innocent angel. For the most part, Amy has been seen trying to do the best she can when it comes to taking care of Tammy, but it never seemed like it was enough. The discussion with the therapist boiled over when Amy brought up how Tammy often tried to blackmail her. When Tammy realized she was cornered, she threatened to get up and leave the doctor's office. After calming down, the two learned that they were living with addiction and had issues with food. Eventually, the 1,000 Old Sisters stars noticed that they had a lot more in common than they thought and were given tools to be able to support one another in their journeys. Even though Tammy and Amy don't fight as much as before, they are sisters, and in times of extreme pressure, there's no doubt they will have a go at one another. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our Gossip Tammy channel and stay with us.